Hey guys, this is episode 14 of The Teacher. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I am so sleepy. Legit. But I haven't really been on episodes all day, so I'm gonna record before I go to sleep. Yet another week closer to graduation and preparation for exams in the form of homework really starting to pile up. Kelly had been sick the day that day and I hadn't been to school. So I thought I'd bring her our homework for the next week while Kylie was at Michelle's house. Well, well was at Michelle's place. Hello? Oh, Sam, is Kelly there? Um, hey, Mia, no, she's sleeping, actually. Mm, can I help you with something? I just wanted to hear if it was okay that I uh, stopped by with our homework uh, due next week. I have a few hours available now, but if she's sleeping now, just wait. It's very thoughtful of you. If you want to, you can stop by uh, with with them, and I can let you in. That'd be great, Sam. <laughs> the faster she gets it, the more time she'll have to finish it. Yeah, exactly. Come on over, but don't ring the doorbell. I'll keep an eye out for your car. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, Sam. Um, I wasn't expect. Oh, I wasn't expecting Sam to be well. Um, mm, I guess you could be excited. I'm a bit excited to see him, actually. It would be nice to talk to him one last time out on the rooftop. Wait, it was nice talking to him last time out on the rooftop. Were you on the fucking rooftop? I can feel butterflies in my stomach right now. Mm. Don't you get a boyfriend, bitch? But when I got there, Sam didn't open the door for me. And since he told me not to ring the doorbell because Kelly was sleeping, I decided to let myself in. Well. Sam? I called out his name loud in a loud whisper kind of a way, but he wasn't, he was nowhere (laughs) to be found. What the fuck is gasp? What? And being the klutz that I am... I (laughs) I overlooked the step and took a tumble down the stairs, twisting my ankle. Mia. In the same moment, Sam decided to show up watching me roll down the stairs. (laughs) Because I somebody had clunked her her head or something. She just, like, literally passed out out of the middle of fucking nowhere. He ran over to me and kneeled, uh, next, well, and kneeled, worried next to me. Are you Okay. I think I twisted my ankle. Uh, He once again, wait, he was once again against, uh, again in his scrubs. He carefully placed his hand around my foot and examined it farther. Does this hurt? He asked while gently twisting it around. No, not that much, I said, biting my lip nervously. His eyes were uh, were confidently and professionally fixated on my foot. Uh, I'm going to move you to the couch, okay? Um, you're not going to pick me up, are you? You bet I am, he said as he moved me closer to, wait, he moved closer to me. Oh, my God. Sam, you don't have to carry me. I can walk over there myself. Please don't. Girl, look at you. All in. Uh, but in the blink of an eye, I was laying in his arms. He picked me up like I was lighter than a feather. Look at Sam's hair. Sam's hair on fleek. I'm sorry, Mia, but the doctor knows this, he said, smirking at me while I was dying of embarrassment. It's not really that bad. It doesn't hurt. It, it doesn't even hurt anymore. You probably sprained it, but, uh, sprained it. A bit, but uh, you need to let it rest for a week. No running, no hiking, no heels. 
He stopped walking and lifted an eyebrow at me, waiting for me to assure him that I, that I would do as he said. <laughs> okay, Doc, you got it. <laughs> now, am I the only person thinking, like, why is her skirt like that? Like, before I... Because he holding her by, like, under her leg, but, you know, the bent part. Um... So, shouldn't her ass be out? I'm just saying. No, no, you know, perv type shit. But that, that, that picture is inaccurate. <laughs> uh, I looked playfully annoyed at him. He laughed and flashed his pearly white teeth. It immediately captured me and I felt almost hypnotized by it. His smile made me forget my bruised ankle for a moment. He clearly noticed me staring at his lips as he cleared his throat, smiling into the ground and continued walking toward the couch. Thanks, Sam, I said while tucking uh, a strand of my hair behind my ear. His biceps are flexed and tense, obviously. He got your big ass in his fucking arms and provided him with the control he needed to carefully put me down on the couch. Once again, like I weighed nothing. They were pretty hard not to stare at. To God, he was so good looking. Oh, her ass is out of God. He smiled at me and sat down next to me, pulling the bandage up from his pocket and started banding my foot. So he just walk around with that shit, huh? And where the hell did she get these pictures from? Is she drawing this personally? Like, I don't get it. Um... Because, you know, the outfit she has on, it's really nothing. It's ne it's really not necessary, Sam. I laughed. I found it a bit funny that he carried the that around in his pocket. But then again, right, he is a doctor. He's wearing the scrubs. You might not think that uh, this is necessary, Mia, but it will provide your ankle with a bit of support. It will make it, uh, make it recover quicker and... It probably won't hurt as much as you either. Won't as much either. Um, if I can prevent something from hurting you, I will. He slightly taped my foot, tapped on my foot, and got up. He started gathering the papers. I dropped them on the floor as I fell down the stairs. <laughs> You're on your ass embarrassed. Um, Sam was walking with me to the door to make sure I didn't stumble around and hurt myself again, clearly. Sam, I'm fine, I promise. I was just making sure. I know you're not a kid anymore. Definitely not. Yeah, I was wondering. You said you had a couple of hours to spare before you needed to head home again, right? Right, what's up? Would you like to grab a coffee with me just to pass time and catch up a bit more? Mm, be excited. Sure, I'd really, I'd love to. Um, just don't tell Kelly. I don't want her to think we're getting married. Great. Let me go get changed into something less doctorish. Okay, I'll wait here. Going to grab a coffee with Sam was obviously something we'd never done before, clearly. And I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be a date. But since Kelly was sick and I was already here, I figured I might as well do it. I don't know what the fuck is this. Shall we? He had a great sense of style. His blazer looked expensive, and um, it, wait, his blazer looked expensive, even though he used it casually. Green was a great color on him too. It matched his eyes. Really, was it? It really is not a great color on him. It really looks horrible. It was weird not seeing him in his scrubs though. The last time I saw him. Not wearing scrubs. He wasn't wearing. He was wearing a black Coldplay T-shirt and black ripped jeans, and he was probably around twenty years old. I remember that day because it was the last time I saw him before he moved to Africa. His style was definitely has definitely changed since the. Oh yeah, let's go. I don't like this fucking outfit he got on. He fucking looked like fucking Stephen Salvatore. Uh, I limped and had a hard time keeping up with him. He noticed, apologized, and quickly offered me his arm over to my car. 
<laughs> Luckily, driving didn't hurt as much as walking. And we got to Cafe La. He asked me to sit down and told me to, he'd go order whatever I wanted. He didn't want me to use my foot more than I had to. Um, I, wait, he also said coffee was on him, so I ordered a, do I want a pumpkin spice like latte or chai latte or, mmm. I'm gonna go with pumpkin spice since it's you know almost Halloween. So how's the pumpkin spice latte? It tastes like a pumpkin spice latte. You don't say. How's your cappuccino? Honestly, I'd rather talk about you than my coffee. I was surprised by his straightforwardness. He <laughs> flattered at the same time. Uh, let's tease him because I think you got a boyfriend, right? I'm not. Oh bummer! I had hoped to talk more about our drinks. You're still the same sarcastic me I always know, aren't you? I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. Don't apologize, I've always considered myself sarcastic too. So it's definitely my kind of humor. Then it was easy to talk to. It felt good to be with him. It felt comfortable and safe. And I had a feeling that Kelly and our sarcastic humor weren't our only thing, um, the only things we had in common. Uh, I was almost eager to find out more about him. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we ask each other some questions? Get to know each other more again. Sounds good. I'll go first, as you wish. Um, you have the chance to really get to know Sam. Now you might think that he's he, what that whatever you say he'll agree on, but he won't. Mm, ask any other person. Sam's got his own personality, likes and dislikes, and even stories to tell him. Mm. You also have a chance to slightly shape me as personality according to your own. So be honest with your answers and find out what you really have in common with him. Let's have fun. Okay. Would you consider your per yourself a cat or dog person? Dog? Definitely a dog person. Really? Me too. Mm-hmm. Mom had a cat before they had Kelly. <laughs> I hated that cat. I think that's why I'm a dog person today. Why did you hate it? It's I was scared of it. It would hide around the corners of the house. And as soon as I walked by them, it would jump out at me, scare me to death, and run off. It was evil, I tell you. Hell no. Sometimes it would hide behind our curtains sitting in the window sill and just wait for me to walk past it. And when I did, it would stick its claws out and try to grab me. I was always on guard with that beast. Poor little Sam. Well, I know that. Uh, well, well, I, I know now that it was probably really a playful cat. But back then, I was so traumatized by it. I can imagine. Okay, my turn. Um, what would I like to... Um, let's go with that one. How would you describe your dream girl? Wow, that's a tough one. Is it really kind, ambitious, funny, creative, and dedicated? And looks don't matter to you at all? Of course, a pretty face doesn't hurt at all. But looks fade. I want a partner for life. Someone I want to spend uh, my life with. I got goosebumps right there. Girl, whatever. He's not only uh, extremely handsome and could probably get in this uh, universe if he wanted to, but he's humble and he and knows what's important in life. It's very admirable. Um, That's so good to hear. I mean, I love that you're not superficial. Thanks, Mia. Would I like to ask Sam another question? Sure. Why not? Um, boom. What would be your perfect date? Um, what? Damn. Did he say probably now? I don't know. I'll stop it. You know that. You know what I meant. 
Ha ha, sorry, I don't know. Um, I'd say candlelight dinner somewhere romantic. You know, a place where we could talk, where we could sit all night and just talk. Eat a mini, uh, a mini course meal in a fancy white. Um, my perfect date is still about the conversation and the girl I'm with, you know. It doesn't really matter what we do as long as we're together. The reason people go on dates mo- are most mostly to uh, either get to know one another or just to be together with someone you care about. Mm, true. For me, it doesn't have to be more than a nice romantic dinner. It sounds wonderful. I mean, I agree. And just like that, I admitted to imagining me uh, and him on a romantic date. He was describing. Mm, good to hear you agree. You didn't even say shit. Okay, whatever. Devil, I can't ask on that. No, not yet, at least. Oh, why is your voice trying to embarrass me? Well, girl, what the fuck? Please behave. I wish you had an angelic side to you. Bitch, the devil was an angel. It's a fallen angel. Anyways, please ask him something else. Bitch, that's the only... Okay. Girl, let's go back with the fucking dream date. Okay, I'm not reading that all over y'all, though. Just gonna skip that. No. Okay, my turn. (laughs) Are you into good guys or bad guys? Uh, I have no preference. Honestly, I I don't have a preference. I think if a guy is uh, the one I'll like him for whom he is. Very mature of you to look at it like that, Mia. But honestly, but oh, but I'm honestly happy you didn't say particularly that you say you particularly like those bad boys. They do have quite the reputation, don't they? Unfortunately, they do. For some reason, a lot of girls fall for for those bad boys who treat them like shit. Mm, I just don't get it. The bad boy image has some nice elements that I think are the reasons girls fall for them. Please enlighten me. For starters, they're kind of exciting. They don't make it easy for you to get them. Playing hard to get, huh? Exactly. Besides, there's a lot of sexual tension and certain coinc- uh, wait, in certain confidence that makes them desirable. But I think it's the most excitement. Well, it's the excitement thing for the most part. I think you're right. I'm glad to see you're past that, though. I'm not immature, unfortunately. In that moment, Daryl popped into my head, and I definitely not. Oh, my bad. I'm immune to this game. I'm immune. God, is it already that late? I have to go, Sam. Kylie will be home in 15 minutes. It was nice. It was really nice to hang out with you. And thank you for the drink. No problem. It was very nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe we can get, uh, maybe you can do it again sometime. And maybe if you're lucky. <laughs> oh, I would consider myself lucky if it happened again. Such a charmer. <laughs> uh, and thank you for helping me with my foot. You have to relax this week, okay? I will, doctor. Good. See you soon, Sam. Say hi to uh, Kelly for me. Oh, well. On my way home, I thought of my coffee date with Sam and how much he's changed. I couldn't help but think about how our relationship had changed, too. I figured it was just because we both got older, but I, but I would be lying if I said I didn't feel a certain connection to him, too. And... Uh, wait, I also thought today was a good time to finally tell Kylie about our upcoming trip to Northern Finland. I knew she would be really excited to go, especially since she could bring her friend, Michelle. Come in. Look at your little cell. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Mia, what's up? Kylie, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Oh no, what is it? You won't be able to go to uh see that movie you wanted to see with Michelle next weekend. 
why not we've been planning it since uh we've been planning it ever since we first saw well saw the first one in the trilogy it's the opening night i know but it's because because of what we're going to finland kylie what we're going to uh we're going to visit a romantic igloo hotel in finland wait are you gonna drag me to the freezing cold finland <laughs> just as the snow here has disappeared just so you and Daryl can sit in front of a fire and make out. Okay, first of all, Daryl and I are not going to make, be making out. Second of all, we're going to let you invite Michelle to come. But it seems like you don't want... Wait, can Michelle come with us? <laughs> That's the plan. If you if you can endure some more snow. Of course I can. I'll call her now. Well, can I call her? Of course, let me know if she uh if you want me to talk to her parents about it, okay? I will. Thank you so much, Mia. It's your mother's treat for us so that we can bond a bit. Yay, go mom. So you're going to stand there while she call. But, uh, it felt really good to bring Kylie these um news. I'm glad I'm seeing her slowly get used to Ellie not being here. Now, he, there's only one week until we're leaving for Finland. I'm sure it'll be an adventure. All right, that's the end of that. Shit. This episode was clearly about the damn date. I hope you guys enjoyed that.